What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be tackling moving Ark from the Epic Games Store to Steam. Basically, if you got Ark for free on the Epic Games Store, as far as I know, you got it with the free DLCs and none of the paid ones. Makes sense, it was a free giveaway. Long story short, the game's taking up around 200 gigs on my hard drive and in order to use a server with mods or join a server with mods or just even join most servers, you'll need it on Steam because something as simple as the ping counter on the server list doesn't work in the Epic Games Store. Super annoying, I had to buy the game on Steam and now I have the choice of downloading it or attempting to move it from the Epic Games Store to Steam. And that's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video. This should hopefully prevent you downloading a ton of stuff and actually just use your existing files. So let's go ahead and begin. What you'll need to know is where the game is installed on your hard drive in the Epic Games Store. Unfortunately, there's no real way to find out where it's installed through the Epic Games Store as far as I understand. So what you'll need to do is simply figure out where it is. I remember where I installed it, so I'll open up a new file browser and I'll head across there. It's in my E drive, games, and then it's simply Ark Survival Evolved. It's taking up around 200 gigabytes, so I'd really like to keep the files that are already here. Awesome. Inside of this folder here, we have a couple of different files, engine, shoot the game, etc, etc. How do we get these onto Steam? Pretty simple. Open up your Steam, navigate across to your library, and then start the download for Ark Survival Evolved. But don't worry, we'll be cancelling it almost immediately. So I'll search for Ark Survival, I'll click Install, I'll choose the directory to install it to, and I'll make sure it's the same drive that I currently have it installed on, unless you want to be moving 200 odd gigabytes from one drive to another, which will take some time. It's currently installed on E drive, and I'll be moving it to another folder on E drive. So I'll click next, wait for it to create a couple of the local files, and I'll navigate across to the new directory. So I'll open up a new file browser, open up the correct drive, Steam apps, common, and eventually arc. And inside of here, we have engine and shooter game. They're currently completely empty, but they match the folder structure as the Epic Games installation. Great. From here, we'll head back into Steam and we'll simply pause the download, right click, and then click uninstall, uninstall. Once it's deleted, we have the option to install it again. All that we're going to do is click Steam in the top left and exit out of it completely. I recommend you check your task manager as well to make sure that Steam is completely closed. After doing so, delete the existing basically empty files inside of the Steam installation as such, and we'll be moving all of the files across from the Epic Games installation, obviously avoiding the EG store. So I'll cut them and I'll paste them into here. Pretty simple. Now that we've done this, I've simply moved all of the files and it should be rather quick. With all of them in the new directory, let's reopen Steam. I'll search for Ark Survival once again, and I'll simply ask it to install again into the same folder. This time you'll see it says discovering existing files for Arc Survival Evolved. And when this is done, should only download a couple of megabytes, maybe a gigabyte or so, but that's way less than the 50 that it has to download to actually set up the game for the first time. And of course, if you had DLCs there, you should already have DLCs installed here. Now this will take quite some time to actually show you any progress. If you'd like to monitor it more closely, you need to open up your task manager and simply locate Steam where you can see the current file activity, or you can head across to the performance tab and monitor it from here. Note that it is going to be reading roughly 200 gigabytes, so this is going to take a hell of a long time, but I'll simply jump forward to when it's done. And there we go. Now, if we tab into the download section, you'll see it's downloading just a few gigabytes instead of the entire thing. While it has to download 13.4 gigabytes, it's quite a bit better than having to download the entire 53 all over again, even though it did take quite some time to get here. So of course I'll wait for this to finish as well. And after this is done, I'll go ahead and fire up the actual game itself. That 13 gigabytes is all of these DLCs here that I didn't have on the Epic Games platform. And assuming you own Ark without the DLCs, it probably won't have to download anything, if much at all. Currently downloading it on my laptop, I downloaded all four of these separately, and you can see the totals over here, bringing it up to roughly 13 or 14 gigabytes. So that explains where the extra file size came from. And now that the download's done, it's gonna take some time to verify all over again. And there we have it, it's now done. Now before we go ahead and actually boot it up for the first time, manage my DLC, and they're all checked. Hey, they're all installed. All of them have ticks, all of them on the right hand side have their size shown, 
That's great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. In fact, I only had the free DLCs on the Ark Survival Evolved install on Epic Games, and now I have these other ones here. Anyways, let's go ahead and launch up the game, Ark Survival Evolved, play, and let's see if it works as expected. And there we have it, the main menu. Let's go ahead and host local. In fact, let's have a look at join Ark first, see if we see pings. Yes, we do. That's something you don't see on the Epic Games version. Host local, play single player, and let's see what happens. And there we have it, we're dropped into the game, things work as expected. Cool. The only thing that I am missing, I'm pretty sure, are my settings from the other copy. Uh, no, actually, things seem to have copied across exactly as I left them. Maybe they're stored in the documents or something somewhere. This seems to be a carbon copy of what I had on Epic Games, which is really what I expected. But anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Money's been taken over here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this saved you quite a bit of downloading. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao!